oceans, we have warm surface water and we have cold water in the deep ocean. That temperature differential and with the gigantic thermal mass that's available in the ocean, you can generate huge, huge quantities of electricity. The potential is immense. Mackay is wonderful because we've got a core group of really passionate engineers who are interested in tackling the tough challenges in energy especially to benefit mankind. Being able to provide more than 100% the total energy needs of the planet and be able to do it with no carbon imprint is a worthwhile goal. Our relationship with HNEI has been magnificent. They share our dream and our goal. They understand the engineering challenges and the practical difficulties of moving forward and the fact that it, it's a long road. So it's been a good partnership, an excellent one. You purchase most of the equipment on day one and then the, the energy is free. Otec Energy is just sunlight. About 70% of the sunlight coming into the earth lands on the ocean. Most of that is captured in the surface layers of the ocean water in the form of heat. That's beautiful because we can extract that energy 24-7 and use that power anytime we want it, totally eliminating the need for an energy storage system. And the beauty about that type of energy, base load power, is that you can actually start to replace conventional power plants. Our focus in this project originally was not to produce power. It was actually designed and built so that we could study one critical component in the system, which is the heat exchangers. So from this point, we can see the Nelha pumping station. This is where we receive water from the deep ocean. Water is pumped, both cold and warm water, along these two pipelines. And the warm surface sea water comes right here, goes up to the top. And this is where we split it into all three different heat exchangers, where water pours down through the heat exchangers. Heat exchangers are really the key component to OTEC. And we've got three different slots for heat exchangers here. And the reason for that is this is a research facility. We need the flexibility to be able to transfer heat exchangers in and out, to be able to swap them out easily and test different versions of the same unit. Because ultimately what we're looking for is a high performance, low cost, and long lasting heat exchanger. Heat exchanger is a fancy name, but really all it's doing is separating two different fluids from mixing, separating the ammonia from the seawater. What's coming out is high pressure ammonia vapor. So the warm seawater has gone into the heat exchanger and heated up that ammonia. It's boiled it, so now it becomes really high pressure steam. How do you boil a fluid with warm seawater. It's at room temperature, so how does it boil anything? And the answer to that is you pick a fluid that has a low boiling point. So in our case we use a refrigerant and it can actually boil and become very high pressure at room temperature. You take a low temperature heat source, creates a high pressure that propels through a pipe and comes into the turbine case right here. It spins the turbine and that rotational motion is ultimately what powers the plant. That turbine is connected to a generator over here, and that's where we get the power. This is what's connected to the grid. After the vapor leaves the turbine, we need to convert it back into a liquid. And so we do that in the condenser. The vapor comes down through this pipe inside this chamber, where there's hundreds of little tubes inside this big tube and the cold seawater passes through these little tubes and on the outside of them, the ammonia senses the cold and then it's converted into a liquid and drips down to the bottom where it continues the cycle. The waters around Hawaii are very stable in terms of temperature and that allows us to extract a very steady source of power year round. It's utility grade electricity, so it doesn't need an inverter, it doesn't need to be filtered in any way. It's very high quality power. The fuel is free, and in fact, our price of electricity for Otec is gonna go down as our technology improves.